hey, that's what video is all about, right? We see it, we take what it gives us, but um, this is a snappy boot, uh, snappy return from uh, sleep, snappy going to sleep, and applications load really, really well as, uh, as, and, and quite fast as well. So we'll take a look at that in just a second. So let me stop this, and I'll be right back, and you'll be looking right at the tablet as we boot it up for the first time. All right, we're back here, and here you see the Lenovo X200T right in front of you there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button, and there we have it. We are starting to boot up, and while it's booting up, we'll talk just a little bit here, uh, some of the interesting things that I've discovered. Again, I want to stress the software load, the BIOS, some things may be different uh, on what you're going to see here than what is actually going to be in the shipping mode. Um, some of this may also just be options. There's an interesting little icon on this that says GPS. Uh, I'm not so sure that there's a GPS receiver in the, this particular evaluation unit here, but that's something that I, I imagine, I don't know for sure, uh, is probably going to be an option that you can order. Um, of course, you've got the wireless WAN as an option as well. Uh, we're into the boot up process here. Things seem to be going pretty well. Hey, there's that Vista icon there, and it's welcoming us to the screen there. And as you can see, boom, we're up pretty quick here. Um, in just a second, the sidebar is going to load here. We hope, we pray, and uh, hopefully everything will go pretty, pretty smoothly here. Um, here you see the WXGA display. Now again, this isn't the View Anywhere display like on the um, that I had on the X61. Um, so it's a little more of a glossy feel to it, but I, I tell you, I, I like it quite a bit. Now, one of the things I'm going to have to get used to if I'm using this particular tablet PC is I don't think we're going to have, I may be wrong on this, an SXGA or an SXGA Plus resolution. This is WXGA, um, and so you've got that wide screen. Um, I really like high-res screens, but tablet PCs are going away from high-res screens. I don't think we're going to be seeing too much more of the high-res screens coming out from the manufacturers here, which is a shame um, because I really like that screen real estate. All right, uh, I think we're just about done booting up here. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see down here that the Lenovo Camera Center <coughs> Excuse me again. Is is right there. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to pop up Firefox here for you, and let's see how fast that loads. All right, boom, we're up. Okay, that worked pretty well. Let's pop over here and open up Google Chrome, and bam, we're up. Uh, as far as that's concerned, let's go ahead and come over here to All Programs, and let's find Windows Journal and bam we're up uh, you can see that it's quite snappy um, we've still got some disk activity going on down here um, so that's pretty typical uh, with Windows Vista and of course in my usage the more you use Vista the more you load on the machine the more you work with the machine uh, the longer it takes for things to boot up or to return from sleep speaking of going to sleep let's give it the sleep test shall we we're just going to shut the lid you heard that beep beep, and any second here, hopefully, we're going to hear a lot. There we are. We're now asleep. Let's wake her back up. And let's see how long that takes. All right. We're back here. We're locked. And now we're popping back into this particular mode here. So, not too bad not too bad at all. Now I'm gonna pick this up and bring it closer to the screen so I can show you a couple of other things here. Um, you'll notice down here in the taskbar we have got quite a few icons there. Most of that are Lenovo programs uh, for security, um, for your access connections, um, a number of other things. I've loaded AVG on there. I've also got Live Mesh running on this. Whoop, another one just popped up yeah you got it 
uh, <laughs> we're going to be looking at some Windows updates here. Um, I'm not sure if you can read in the little green battery icon there, it says 529. That's how much battery life it's reporting here. Um, and this is not at a full charge. I'm moving the cursor over here. This says 427, 92% remaining on the balanced power plant. Now, this has now dropped back to 437. This is so new in my usage here, folks, that uh, I haven't been able to get this to stabilize to really know what battery life is going to be on this particular model. I mean, I've seen it report as high as six hours after boot up. I've seen it report four and a half. I've seen it report five and a half. Who knows what that's really going to be? I'll have to be testing that out to to really give you some better feedback on that as well. Um, here, right here, if I can get it in the screen here for you, we're going to rotate that around. Okay, there, I think we can. Uh, let's see where that icon disappeared to. Uh, all the way down here now. There we go, right there. Think Vantage GPS 2.0. That's telling us that we're going to see an option with GPS here. Um, also, in the task tray down here, if you can see this little icon right here, let me go ahead and pop the pin out and see if I can bring up what that menu is. This is smart audio, okay? It's basically giving us some controls over voice recognition, speaker phone, internet telephony, um, or uh, omnidirectional or unidirectional for the microphone. So it sounds like Lenovo has done some improvements on what we're going to see with the, the microphones here on this particular unit. All right, I'm going to set this down. Trying to work around the camera here. I'm going to bring up Windows Journal for you. Once again. And here we go. And hopefully you can see this here. Inking is very smooth on this screen. Okay, I uh, like it a lot. Feels very similar uh, without the gunk from the View Anywhere screen that gets dirty and filthy and everything. But without that, it feels very, very similar to the X61. Um, as a matter of fact, feels much nicer uh, in my uh, particular opinion. All right. Um, those are some of the changes that we see here with the Lenovo X200 tablet PC. Uh, I'm going to just rotate this around here while I talk to you. Um, there you have it. It is a very nice tablet PC. One other change that you'll notice here, let me put the uh, see if I can put the X61 side by side with that here, is that the wrist pad is quite a bit narrower as well. Let's take a peek here and see if we can see that. There you go. Now I got the batteries lined up. Yes I do. You'll notice right there hopefully the difference in the wrist pad there. So that's quite a bit of a, a difference as well um, as we're looking at this. So there's a quick first look at the Lenovo ThinkPad X200 tablet PC. Um, I'm very excited about what I see here. I am looking forward to spending some more time with this particular device and getting to know it a little bit more and reporting back to you. I mean we're going to be doing with this, with also with the HP 2730P, we're going to be doing some more reporting on both of those tablet PCs. The processor speed really impresses me on this. Uh, we're probably going to do some head-to-head -head comparisons on these two uh, because I think they're going to be competing for market share here over the next period of time. So this is Warner Crocker from GottaBeMobile.com. Once again, I want to say a big thank you and shout out to TechSmith Corporation, makers of Snagit and Camtasia Studio. Check out their products at www.techsmith.com. And a big thank you to the good folks at Lenovo for getting this into my hands so that we can start evaluating the Lenovo X200T tablet PC. It's going to be a sweet tablet PC, folks. Take care. We'll talk to you on the next Ink Show.